Hey y'all, welcome to another week, another wash hour. My name's Nicole and I started the 30 day hair detox in January, 2021. So the purpose of my hair videos is to continue documenting my progress on my hair journey to have simple hair care techniques, cleansing, conditioning, and styling my hair every five to eight days so I can have the healthiest, most hydrated, most defined wash and go sets if I choose to wear wash and go every week and to continue to grow my hair out as long as I can stand it. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're a frequent watcher, welcome back and say hey to me in the instant chat if you're here on instant chat, right? It's like you come over to my house and what'd you do? You say hey to the host, hey such and such, thanks for having me over. So do that in the chat, please. <laughs> and if you feel comfortable, let me know where you're watching from. So this is a seven day old set. So I'm going to hop in the shower, cleanse, condition, detangle, and then I come back out here to style. I've seen quite a few people say that they only style in the shower and they don't come outside and then style outside of the shower. I've only ever styled outside of the shower. So comment below if, which one do you do? Do you cleanse, condition, detangle, and apply your base gel and then come out to style? Or are you able to do all of that in the shower if you're doing a wash and go where you're using gels? Cause I'm, I'm kind of fascinated by that prospect. And I could kind of understand that depending on uh, what technique you use, I guess, to, to set your curls. Yeah, how you rake and smooth and all that stuff, but that's just something I'm interested in knowing. So let me know which, which one are you below. You style in the shower and then once you come out, all you have to do is get under the dryer or do you come out of the shower and then style your hair and get under the dryer after that. So I'm going to go cleanse and condition and detangle. And also don't forget to check the description box. Uh, a question you have may already have been answered in the description box as well as if you have specific questions about what products I use or uh, how much I use, that will be a question to ask over uh, via membership. So there's a link below, but if you, as of now, this could have changed by the time this video goes out. If you uh, have an iOS, the Apple device, right now you can't access the membership link and the button isn't on those devices, but if you go to a desktop, laptop, and go to my channel through that then you should see that join button for the membership hub for youtube and then you also have another option if you go to www.patreon.com slash adorned by nicole then you could access the videos from that anyway whichever you feel is easiest whichever platform you're most familiar with but patreon takes less of a percentage than youtube does just fyi for me on my end but you, you mean, do, do what's best for you. All right. So I will see you when I get back from cleansing, conditioning, and applying my base gel. All right. What I will say about my set today is for my shampoos, I only did moisture shampoo and conditioner. I think I did the same thing last week. I didn't do all purpose and then, um, all purpose, then moisture. And I shampooed it twice with The moisture shampoo and if you're wondering what a moisture shampoo is I'll try to remember to link the Instagram post that protected by Lisa did where she broke down the different levels of shampoo and if you want more specifics of course if you're in my memberships then you know uh, which moisture poo is my preference and also if you were in see some curls of course, the professionals over there, I am Black Girl Curls, do a much better job of um, explaining it. But also, they have their list of what are the top tier, not all the products, right? But just ones they've used and what they think are the best in those categories. So, yeah, please don't um, discuss specifics. Because... As I mentioned many times before, if you're just starting to detox, um, well, if you're starting to detox officially on their website, then you would, I think you should know 
what the, the products are. But um, it's more important to just get in the habit of cleansing your hair with shampoo and conditioning it with, with conditioner and just styling it and developing a, a technique. I didn't start out with products on the list. I baby stepped it and added one thing at a time. And I think the last product that I invested in that they suggested on their list, I think the last things I switched out were the shampoo and conditioner. Once I had used up the shampoo and conditioner that I already had from another company. And then I'm like, okay, I'm out. I need to buy more shampoo and conditioner. So I might as well give the ones on you know, the list a try and see how they work. It's not, not the products alone that give you results. It's consistency. Um, it's getting your hair really clean when you shampoo it. Uh, detangling it. Detangling. Detangling it really well when you have the conditioner on your hair. You know, rinsing that out really well. And then, you know, applying your products and for your styling. I mean, that's the icing on the cake. But if you don't like shampoo your hair really well and condition it really well and detangle it really well. Well, that affects how your, the outcomes of your results, definition, longevity. That's been my, been my personal experience. I've been doing this over, over a year. And so I can honestly say that if I have any, like, if my hair, I feel like it's not acting right, then it's not the styling products. It usually means I need to revisit my shampooing, conditioning, detangling technique probably, and get that straight. So that's what I spend the most time doing, wetting your hair, um, just letting the water run over your hair. If you're high density, separating your hair so the water can get through your hair, taking the time to rinse off the products that you used uh, the prior um, for your prior sets, um, using water soluble high quality products in the first place because then those will rinse off your hair easily more easily because they're water soluble right so the water will dissolve them and so you're not getting build up on your hair that can prevent hydration and prevent you know the moisture from properly getting into your hair so all of those things are part of your technique you're developing before you even get to the styling part that's why I love when I go get my hair appointment with um a, any cut it kinky specialist I've only gone to two you know tyranny and then also Elise but the shamp my favorite part is when they shampoo my hair take their time well my favorite part has always been the shampoo portion when I've gone even when I've gone to a salon um, before I partner with a curl specialist well, my sister, who's a cosmetologist, has done my hair. It's all, I've always loved the shampoo part, probably because it back then it felt so good because my hair was like, yeah, water, water, give me water. But even now, just taking the time to rinse your hair, um, agitate that scalp. Um, it's very like soothing and kind of therapeutic to me. And... Um, then, of course, once they get that down, then the styling, you know, cutting, whatever portion goes so much better. But if they don't lay that foundation in the shampoo bowl, then it's not going to turn out the same. You're not going to get an elongation, the definition, right? Let me know in the comments if you have discovered this as well. Now I'm just going to work these products through my hair. Who loves the Princess Bride? Comment below. I knew my husband when we were <laughs> more so than this. It's just like one small instance. But I knew my husband had a good taste in movies when I found out he appreciated and also liked the Princess Bride. I was like, what? 
So that was one of the first movies we watched together. Yeah, for me, not just with my husband, but even in my family. And do y'all do this? Sometimes we communicate through movie quotes. That's fun. Or TV show quotes. Alright. Good, that's good, that's good. And if <laughs> if y'all know of a see some curls, you know, 30 day hair detox alum that has done it correctly, right? For long term and they have a video out there of them styling their hair in the shower and I'm not talking about someone who might have tried it only for the 30 days and then you know oh it didn't work out I'm going back to what I usually do I'm talking about you know somebody like faux mame jazzy and they style in the shower you know, I need to go back and look back at one of Jay. I think Jazzy's done it before. But I was in and out on that video, I think, because I was doing something, so I couldn't just watch it all the way through, and she didn't save it, which she shouldn't. She shouldn't save it, because her technique is valuable, and, you know, if she don't want to. But if you know of a video out there where I can, like, look at it and see what that would be like, then I would like to give it a gander. See you when I get up here with raking and smoothing. I'm wiping off my tools as I go. So wiping off my clip before I put it back in the drawer. I was just thinking, uh, don't forget, if you're out here doing a wash and go raking and smoothing, don't be afraid to grab Felicia. Not any brush. Alicia Leatherwood to assist you when necessary. It's okay. It doesn't make you a bad um, home hairstylist to use a tool. It's not. And another thing, okay, but first, what was on my mind when I said that? Uh, I was thinking of an object lesson to help. Uh, y'all appreciate uh, about shedding and what to expect because I'm gonna make a video on hair shedding you know what to expect what's normal and all that stuff there we go and then I forgot what's the other thing I was gonna tell y'all And if you're a member, you know, you can drop a comment on the videos over there and say, hey, could you do a video about this? And, if, you know, if I can, I appreciate the content suggestions over there in that hub. And I appreciate all for support that hub, that, I don't know what you call it. Yep, I sure did. Got some hair from this other row in that, so I'm just gonna boop. It's fine. It's okay.
Oh yeah, so I'm doing the market in the park this weekend. So I wanna set my hair. Oop. I thought that was gonna be more difficult. It just popped a loose. Uh set my hair for that. <laughs> With that in mind. And excited to get back out there and sell some soaps and some bath bombs and some body creams. So I wanted to tell y'all that last week accidentally, you might have seen it when I was up here and I was brushing my hair out. Y'all ripped my hair out, not from the scalp, but like a piece of my hair because I looked at the brush and I was like. So, you know, be gentle with your hair. It happens sometimes, but it shouldn't happen all over my head. So I, I did. I was like, oh, my God. Good, what in the world? I've never done that before, so. But I think it was because I was in a semi-hurry. And when I get right up to the top, got right up to the top, it was like, oh, let me do this real quick. Nope, it was too quick. I just, poor hair. I mean, it'll grow back, but it happens sometimes. So that was a breakage, okay? Not a shedding. I should I should have shown y'all, but I realized that after the fact, and I was like, oh no! So now I send the hair graveyard. Yep, it sure is. I told y'all right when I first started this journey, hydration journey was the main thing. I was looking for hydration, definition. I thought my hair was pretty healthy. It wasn't, but that's okay, right? Living life. <laughs> just cause your hair is not just breaking off all over the place doesn't mean it's healthy, but it's okay. But uh, my edges would not just lay down no matter how much, a, what's that, a straight hair? Yep, this hair goes here. No matter how much I um, would do this. So now that they do finally lay down, they are hydrated and even they're kind of growing out and their little curliness. I embrace that. And so I'm like, oh, let's, you do it so easy now. Just lay, lay the edges down. See, look, boop. Would not do that. Just spring right back on me. It was like, nope, I'm not ready to do that right now. And I'm not doing it. <laughs> so when Elise and her videos would be like, oh, you should set your edges when you're setting your hair and I try to do that and I'm like my edges ain't laying I need to shellac them down with some edge control the, you know the thick stuff that you get from the beauty supply store it was um oh what's the brand that's a shed hair right there it's a good pretty one too it's a, um even e-b-i-n that's the my soup my edge control it's like 
she'll knock it down. But now it'll they'll lay down with the foam and they'll lay down with the um, gel, all the gels I have in my hair. Gentle, 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 good. And uh, yeah, talk to yourself while you just pull your hair apart so you don't pull, rip it out. But yeah, so I'm so happy that they finally, now I don't know exactly how long it took for them to lay down. I would have to like go back and look at my videos and I'm probably not gonna do that. Moving forward, just looking ever on forward, right? But if y'all could look, if y'all are looking back at my older videos and see, oh, at that point when she was like, oh, look, my edges are laying down. That was also uh, an achievement level that I got to that I wasn't expecting. I just thought, oh, as we will do, my hair won't do that. It wouldn't do that then. But now, consistency, my hair is hydrated. I'm still growing out my old, unhealthier hair, and it will do it now. So be patient, be consistent, and just embrace the little things that your hair may be doing now that it wasn't doing a month ago, six months ago, a year ago, even if it's not as long as you want, because length isn't the only marker for progress. Okay. Okay. And everybody doesn't want long hair. Even if they can grow it long, they could keep it shorter just for manageability, for convenience, for how they want their hair to look. Because short haircuts, we all know, they be looking so cute sometimes and they be say, ooh, I'm gonna cut my hair off, but now I wanna grow my hair out. I want my hair short for like a week, not forever. So my sister sometimes will be like, if you want your hair to be short, get a wig, a short wig. Don't just cut your hair off. And even my little baby crown was so short, y'all, when we first started. Like, boop, look at her. Let's give some applause for Abigail's progress, okay? And I'll continue to grow her out. Didn't know it. I thought I would just be, because whether I had a relaxer or not, it was shorter. So I was like, okay, well, that spot is just forever going to be like that. And I would think, Oh, it's shorter, it's brittler, it's coarser. I need to put more oil in that section. Probably, I should not have done that. I did not know. Should have put more water in that section. Okay. Y'all see how I adjust my grip as I move up the hair? at the roots get the roots all right there 
as a shed hair. Oh no, my hair is falling out. The sky is falling down. It's fine. It's, it's okay that you missed a couple of hairs when you would detangle with your brush in the shower. Because it could just mean that as you as I'm styling my hair, that hair just shook loose, right? It, it just shook loose. It's okay. We want it to be out. We don't want it to stay in there. Okay, so I'm going to go sit under the hooded hair dryer for one hour. Yep. Make sure the curls are where you want them to be. Because if, they, <laughs> if they're like this, that's how they're going to dry. Okay, so just try your best to kind of put them at least initially where you, where you would like them to go. Okay. There you go. It's a gap. There'll be a gap when it dries. All right. All right. So hooded hair dryer. One hour and then go about the rest of my day. Hey, welcome to day two hair. If y'all been here for a while, you know that day two is almost never my favorite day. Day two is the day where I'm waiting on day three, four, five to get here because those are usually my favorite days with my set. My hair still feels like humidity around here at the roots. Even this morning, I hopped back under the dryer for a few more minutes and I'm like Millie Vanilli blaming it on the rain. It's been very rainy this week. It stormed really bad last night and I was out. Uh, I didn't, my hair didn't get wet, but I was still in the atmosphere outside, inside, you know, so I'm blaming it on the extra moisture and stuff in the air because of the humidity, which affects my expectations. But I mean, I know my hair, the definition's on point, uh, the elongation's on point, and tomorrow, will be a better day. I tied my hair up like I usually do, but I also woke up this morning. I hadn't been sleeping under my pillow under the covers. So also could have been humidity just for me sleeping, breathing under the covers too. All that, all that combined. My lipstick is 90210 by Gerard Cosmetics. It's a, it's a peachy pink kind of day. You see, you see? So I put this shirt on to match my makeup and my earrings. So, going out again in this rainy weather because I need to go pick up some lining fabric for a dress order so I will be out in the elements today I need to get, get put gas in my car too yeah or I can wait for hubby to do it we'll see how I feel once I get to go pick up the lining fabric and also yeah that's the main things today pick up the lining for my my dress job work on the start working on that dress and uh, do some other little things to prepare for the market this Saturday so I will definitely see you on day three with hopefully a better uh, 
feeling, relationship, outcome, likability for where my hair is on day three. Hey y'all, just popping in to show you how day three is doing. Can we, can you, can you see? My hair has progressed to the point where it's got hang time and the, the shaking thing is just something that we naturally can look forward to. So day three. Y'all, it is so humid. So it's been raining for like five days, like storming every day. And it's hot. It's back up to, it says 84, which probably means it feels like 94 or 100 here. Because here, our heat index is always like 10 or 20 degrees hotter than what the actual temperature is. But I can feel on my hair the humidity. I can, I can feel it. Even like with how my gel cast has set or not set. Uh, th this week so it's very juicy but I'm not mad at it I'm going with what what it wants to do I'm not gonna put undue pressure on Abigail to be something she just can't be we're just gonna embrace her for what she is doing this week so I I've gotten a lot of compliments on definition with this set see see here lots of definition so yay we're happy I will see y'all on day four Hey, welcome to day four hair. Thought I'd pop on here really quickly to whoop, show y'all how day four hair is looking. She nice and crispy. Before I um, probably take a nap. We did the market today. See, I got my market shirt. You may notice when I do the markets, I either wear yellow or orange because color psychology. <laughs> so if you're a person selling at the market, like look, Look at what emotions certain colors evoke and see if you wear said colors or incorporate those colors into your um, display if you get more sales. So me and mommy, uh, it's just me and mommy, soap, bath, and body products. We did better than we've ever, ever done at a market. So that was encouraging. So me getting up at 5 a.m. to be to the market by 6 something a.m., to be ready to start selling at 7.30 and then we did it from 7.30 until noon and it was amazing. So if anybody support us at the market and you see this video, thank you so much. It was great meeting you and uh, interacting with everybody. And it was a really pretty day, clear day outside after a very rainy week. So I am starting to frizz a little bit here. You can't see it maybe as much as I can feel it because I know my hair, but the last couple of nights, I think I've sweated in my hair in my sleep because when I woken up, my hair has felt like a little humectedy, muggy in there. So this morning, I just hopped under the hooded hair dryer for like 10 minutes and just to, you know, redry my hair. And it has a very nice cast on it right now, despite being out in the heat and humidity for five hours today. And so doing very well. Um, my hair is becoming my superpower, right? When you see when you see the definition, uh, people think you have to do a twist out and then when you go, it's a wash and go, and they're like, huh. So I like that I know how to do my hair like this without having to do a twist out. And also, if other people want to know, then you can tell them, oh, it's really simple. But no, you don't have to twist it. It's wash and go. And I use a gel. And even though it was raining really bad the other night, like, oh, I got my anti-humidity, anti-frizz product on my hair. So I'm not worried too much about the rain. My hair will still probably last five to eight days. What? This is how the conversations go. Okay. Like that. Have you had those conversations with people? If not, if you keep on this journey and keep cleansing, conditioning, and styling and showing up with your defined, healthy hair, you will have these conversations. I remember when I first started the detox and Aisha would be on live and she would say, oh, people stopping you in the store or tracking you down or telling you, oh my gosh, I love your hair. And I was like, this was when, mind you, this is during COVID where I wasn't going anywhere, right? With the panoramic pandemic. But once you start getting out and going places and seeing people more, Especially with your fresh day one set or if it's like this day four you saying oh I did my hair four or five days ago and they're like and that's all it's not a wig it's really 
nice. It does happen. You will get the compliments. My sister who lives in Montgomery has had people ask her or accuse her. And I mean that jokingly. You go to Nicole at Trey BN, don't you? Because that's her stylist of in Montgomery. So in Montgomery, they know it's only one a cut and kinky stylist there, Nicole at Trey BN. They know her work. They see my sister's hair and they're like, you must go to her because your hair looks like on point and only she's doing that up here. All right. So I hope if y'all haven't had that experience, you will. And if you have had that experience, comment below. I know it made you feel good. I mean, you do your hair to look good for yourself, but it's nice when other people appreciate your effort as well. All right. That's it for today. I will see y'all on day five. Hey, welcome to day five hair. She's doing well. One thing I've learned about Abigail lately is to just let her live before with the, this shorter spot. I would maybe pull and over manipulate it to try to get it to match the rest of my hair, especially how this hair is doing over here. But she's not ready to do that yet. And I'm probably causing more harm than good by keep pulling and stretching her so this last couple of weeks with my wash and go i've just been letting her live more still when i wake up you know putting my hair into place but not just being so stressed about trying to make this side match this side when it's just they're just not the same right now and it's a lot less stressful and see i'm having less frizz more definition and i'm getting more longevity out of my set by not uh, causing myself undue frizz. So I hope y'all are having a productive week with however you've chosen to style your hair. I hope you're choosing simple hair care where you can set your hair and then a week later you can reset your hair depending on your lifestyle. When I work out hard every day then my set probably is going to last five days. If I don't my set could easily last eight days, but even sometimes if I work out, depending on how long I stand it, I can still make my set last, uh, stand it lasting longer. So enjoy the journey and figuring out what your hair will and won't do, and then appreciating what it will do now, but still working on improving in your technique, because maybe it won't do that thing right now, but if you give it some time and consistency and love, then it will do that thing eventually. Like I talked about y'all with my edges laying down, you can see. They're still just laying down. They're not shellac down with edge control, which I do love a good edge control now. Don't get me wrong. I'm not anti-edge control. It has its place. I love an edge control look, you know. But I'm happy to know that I don't have to have that for my edges to lay down. All right, I will see y'all on day six. Hey, welcome to day six hair. Me and Abigail were having a very good relationship these past two weeks. I have been shampooing more with my moisture poo because that's what my hair is telling me that it likes. Plus, I haven't been working out as much these past couple weeks for whatever reason. So I don't need the same cleansing that I need when my hair is sweaty and dirty and all that stuff from working out. So even if my hair makes it to eight days, it's less dirty with what I've been doing throughout the week than on weeks when I work out and do things outside and all that jazz. So just getting to know your hair and what it needs, that's part of it. So I've been meaning like most videos this week and then I'll get off the video and say oh man I meant to talk about holes because I was just leaning my hair this way to fluff it and volumize it and it's easier to see when I freshly set my hair but I mean I hope y'all can see it but for me when I lay my hair this way you can see how it's even all the way around versus I know I wish I had a, like a swivelly chair right now when I lay my hair this way you can see it whole 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 so when all this <laughs> matches this, this is the goal. Even though it's shrunken up and stuff now, you can clearly see that this side, see, like, is not matching up. 
like the rest of my hair. So I could cut it all off to match the short part, which is a very minimal part overall, or I can grow it out. And I'm choosing to grow it out. Yep. Okay. So this might be, this set might last to day eight this week and I'll reset her on that day. But you'll definitely know. Thanks for hanging out with me. Have a productive day. See you on day seven. Welcome to day seven here. I'm excited. So you can see where it's frizzing. I was just thinking that when this grows out, this is like the first first stage, right? Of you can't tell me nothing. You can still tell me something. That's just an expression. I, I still want you to tell me stuff, but I'm just gonna be so happy when we don't have this. But then the next phase would be, cause even at this length, I would love for this middle section, even though this is the section they they being stylist, my stylist is that you play with, because this is like the, the base part. Um, I still would like to grow this out. So can you imagine how like nice it'll look when this part is all grown out as well? It's mad, let's fill it in. Let's just imagine. So even though it's at the the same um it'll still be short but it'll still be long right so that's my goal <clears throat> as well as not just to grow my hair this way but to grow it this way so it takes up more space and more volume and it's just balanced is my goal with my hair with a nice always have you know some kind of angle in the back but still to grow it out to balance so that could take another year or two seems like a lot of naturals who have done the detox who are partnered with the tight curl specialist it takes about a year and a half for like all new healthier hair to grow in and then about the three-year mark is when people really start hitting their goals goals so I'm um, a year and a half so I'm like halfway in so give me another year and a half and hopefully we would have made the progress a lot more progress through here and to see where I'm comfortable with my hair falling and collaborating with my tight curl specialist so I will see y'all on day eight I will be resetting more than likely my hair tomorrow I don't want to do it today I'm gonna get up early tomorrow and reset my hair tomorrow and I'm very excited to do so have a productive day hey y'all is day eight hair and the interesting thing happened when I was deciding to record I had put on my reset robe and I was already thinking but not really feeling it but thinking that oh I'll reset my hair just because it's day eight but then when I took her down out of my hair buff and scarf and started to kind of you know put her in the shape I thought you know Abigail's been doing it really well this week and why don't I just let her live this set could probably last at least till tomorrow if not the next day a couple more days and the frizz section still has definition and I have frizz but not shrinkage right I prefer frizz over shrinkage this could all be frizzy and not be shrunken and I would love that over if it had you know super definition but was like matted down to my head but anywho, so yeah, I decided to let her ride and we'll see what she's looking like tomorrow, which will be day nine. And maybe she can set a new record for how many days she's lasted. You know, she's making good progress. We're um, bringing down the shape in the back is my new goal while it's still, you know, growing in these areas. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. But I was like, you know what? We don't have to reset you today. I got triggered last night because my scalp started itching, but it's not itching today. Yeah. And who else out there feels like your hair does better in the, if you live in a humid climate in the hotter, more humid months than it does in the, the winter months? Raise your hand in the comments. So that's day eight. Yeah. So I will see y'all on day 
oh i gotta put up more for nine right and hopefully then we'll see we'll be able to do this without putting on a headband without retwisting and remixing my hair and so i'm very excited about this development my lip color is girl boss by the lip bar today so that's what we're going with i'm about to go sew some things and i hope y'all have a productive day hey y'all look at day nine hair the, the stuff of myths and legends in my old life prior to simplifying my hair care and starting the hurdy the hurdy the 30 day hair detox so the frizz is frizzing but it's not shrinkaging you see it's more functional frizz it's blending it's still shaping even as we go all the way around but it is quite frizzy in there so i'm attributing that to just my hair growing out and making progress and me being nice to her and me talking nice to her and if i'm playing i will say it's the second what is this the second or third week since i was seriously thinking about just like cutting abigail into a cute short like for real for real short taper and since then she's been behaving exceptionally well so what's up with that and even this week i was like okay if you last five days i'll be happy but like every day i'm like abigail you're i don't have to wash you today even though you can see there's a little gel flaking right that's to be expected it's been nine days water's evaporating out of my hair water's evaporating out of the product that's in my hair but the shape is still shaping so tomorrow <laughs> will be day 10 hair with no refreshing no retwisting no nothing and me having an actual wash and go for a straight for the 10 day mark so i will count that as a progress goal post also i have been very diligent and making sure like if i want my hair to last the longest and behave the best that for me right now I need to put on my hair buff and then tie a satin scarf around it whilst sleeping on my satin pillowcase, y'all, okay? Uh, I do have a satin pillowcase pattern that I made that's available in my Etsy shop. And I think I'll put an offer code in the description box for you to get a discount if you go there to purchase it from watching this video. And I appreciate you in advance for doing that. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe if you found anything interesting or useful about this video. If you liked how my eyebrows looked on a certain day. If you like my lip color on a certain day. If you like my shirt on a certain day, right? If you like anything about the video, then, you know, please support my channel by clicking that subscribe button. I appreciate all of you so much. Y'all are very encouraging to me. So thank you for watching every week. And I will see you on day 10, y'all, day 10. And I hope this giving you something to look forward to that if you've never made it that far, that if you wanted to, maybe you could, if you could stand the way your hair is looking long enough, right? Because we know this isn't the best Abigail could look, but this is looking good for nine, 10 day old hair, right? All right, I appreciate y'all. Have a productive day. That's all folks. Welcome to day 10 hair. Every morning I've gotten up on this set, I have thought, oh, this is the day that my hair is just gonna be beyond um, fluffing out to how I would like it. But it hasn't been. I even think for day 10 hair, this looks pretty great. So I love that my scalp is itchy though, and I know it's time to wash my hair. But I love that I can go five to 10 days on a set so far. Who knows, one day I might be able to make it comfortably to 14 days if I had to with my wash and go. But that don't have to worry about my hair. It's at least gonna last five days. And if it lasts longer than that, then yay. But I am gonna reset my hair 
it's early in the morning like the sun is coming up but I have a lunch to go to so I want my curls to be fresh so I'm about to go reset my hair so I will see you on the next wash hour thanks for watching liking subscribing commenting joining memberships joining me on the instant premieres and chatting with me every week and I appreciate y'all so much have a productive day